G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today we're going to go in the shed. I'm actually missing something. Today we're going to go in the shed and we're going to have a tidy up in the fish room. Because my little niece is coming over. Oh, I've got him in my pocket. So, I'm going to try and figure out how to set you guys up on the tripod. Because I don't have the proper bracket to put you on the tripod, so we're going to try and make something. This is actually fake, guys. So, some of you may know, I use a Bosch, I think it's Bosch, a Bosch tripod. It came with a laser that I had back in the day, and it works perfectly for my camera. Um, for my phone, I made this out of wood, and it worked perfect for like, the whole time I've been vlogging. I've had that since the start, pretty much. Um, so check this out. This is the helmet. Can I get it out? Hang on. This is the helmet, oh no, this is the flat one. So this is the flat surface mounting point. It goes in there. And if I pull that, it's actually, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna do it with one hand. Yeah, I got it. So then I lock that. That actually feels tight when I lock it in. And it's actually locked in. So I might order a couple more of these because I'll keep this one on here. But if I ever want to mount it, I want to get a couple to mount on fish tanks. I reckon that will be handy and cool. All right, so let's get a hyperlapse going. I'm not sure how much battery it's going to use, etc., etc. I do need to order a second battery because um, the batteries don't last very long on these things. But let's get it going and we'll see what happens. So I thought this was going to be an interesting hyperlapse, but besides moving the table and the styrofoam box, not much really happens. Alright guys, so I didn't end up sweeping in the fish room. My niece got here quicker than I was expecting. Um, I had moved everything out, which is good. Uh, there was way too much stuff in there that you could trip over. Um, but I want to clean up a bit more in there this week, but I've got one thing that's way more of a priority at the moment. We need to get the flower horn fry into this IBC here. So the first problem I have with that is there's nowhere for the runoff water to drain at the moment. So I found in my garden, I found a handy dandy piece of 40 mil pipe. And I'm actually going to drill a hole in the side of my shed and put this pipe through the hole. Now, I don't think I have enough fittings to do my plan, my full plan of where this is going to drain to. Because, I, well, I need to go to Bunnings. But I don't really care about whether I get it finished today or not. Today, what my goal is, get the hole drilled, get the pipe through the hole, and then um, have this cable tied to the side of the IBC in a position where I can access it to attach what fittings I want to attach on it. So I'm thinking about having the 40 mil, having an increaser and putting like a um, 120 mil uh, like grey water, uh, not grey water, storm water fitting on the end of it. So I can drill little holes in the side of the storm water fitting and then cable tie hoses to it. So all the drains run into that fitting. Um, I'll keep you guys along for the ride on that. But for right now, we're going to get on drilling a hole in the side of the shed, which might be a bit difficult because my hole saws are very blunt. All right, so I'm going to drill the hole about at least 100 mil up from the bottom because I need some fall on the outside for where this pipe's going to run. Obviously, a drain pipe needs to be running down the whole time. So I'm going to drill about here. I've worked out what distance I need it across. So I've got no idea how well this hole saw is going to go through. My presumption is pretty crappy. Alright, that went through very easily. 
Um, so you see when the sparks start flying off, really I should have had the drill on the low setting. When that gets that hot, it actually wrecks the drill bit because it's putting too much heat into the blades and that starts to blunt them. So the way I just did that, completely disregard it and do the opposite to me. So this pipe's quite long. I don't really want to cut it down yet because I don't know how long it needs to be. I could probably measure it, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it. Um, all right, I'll, get me I'll measure it. I'll be back. All right, so I cut the pipe down a bit. Um, to fit in this gap here, we might need to move this bucket. So that bucket had the four mil drain, clearly wasn't working. Now I've got water pouring out here. So I'll put that hose in there, I don't know if you can see or not. We might as well use the drain already. Um, so this was a total flop. Oh, I'm going to try empty this. So you guys have got a bit of a strange view up there, don't you? I'm just looking now. Um, you guys are on the tripod on top of the IBC. So I couldn't find a 40 mil elbow and we're just building this out of what we got around the house. I found a 50 mil elbow and a 40 to 50 mil reducer, which actually will work out all right. Cause like I said, we're trying to go to a bigger pipe for the drain. So now we're up to 50 mil. We just need to go to, from 50 up now. That reducer is quite loose. I wasn't going to glue it and I had put it together and it was pretty loose so I decided to glue it. It's only a drain so it's not under any pressure. Alright, so drain pipe's ready to go. It's just sitting down there on the ground. You can just see it in the video. Um, now, tank needs to go back into position and then cable tie that off. Now, the other tank, this tank has only had salt water in it, so I can pretty much use this straight away. I might give it a quick rinse out, but the other tank has had glyphosate or something in it. So that one needs a bleach and a high pressure clean. So I'm only going to get this one running today. But the thing is, I need to put this one in, that one back into position and then fill this one because I don't know if you guys remember from the past video that one's really tight so I need that one in position when I put water in this one just so I know it's in the right spot because we're literally hard up against the cabinet which is down here which you guys can't see and um, pretty much hard up against that solenoid there and there's just enough room that I can actually remove that solenoid I pretty much are uh, so I have to unscrew the valve, take that off, and then there's just enough room to turn the solenoid. I might actually cut this, while, while I'm talking to you, I'm thinking of things. I might cut this brace off here, because that's what's in the way. Yeah, let's do that. Taking that one piece out won't really matter for the structural integrity, um, but it will make it way easier to access that solenoid for me. So, obviously, if you're cutting the side of an IBC, usually I wedge a block in there, but I am rushing and I held it with my hand, which is a little bit dangerous, guys. So, be careful at home if you do do that. So, just as I was suspecting. That makes more clearance for me there to work on that solenoid. Um, it's a Bermad solenoid, so technic in in not technically, but I feel like I should never really have to work on that. But we, you always got to make those. Um, what do you call it? It's not preventions. Make those. 
I don't know. You got to think about the future. What's the word, guys? Comment down below. You got to make those something word to make sure for the future that if you ever need to work on something, it's fish rooms are based around on the ease of changing things. I find anyway. Um, that whole 30 second clip that I've just made is an absolute shambles because I can't think of the word, but you guys know what I mean. It's, it's really important. Things like this. See how that tap is so close to the wall that I had to like check out the wall to turn it on and off? That's the sort of shit you want to avoid. <laughs> um, it's bad. This corner is not very thought out. Um, we've got power right next to water. So really, I need to move that power. And I don't think there's actually anything stopping me from lifting it up there. Um... Alright, so that's going to be a task this week. We're going to take that power and put it above the water. Good idea, guys. I'm glad you're here to give me ideas. Um, Alright, so we need to put the other IBC back in and then we can put water in this thing. I love how light and easy to work with IBCs are. Alright guys, um, so my camera's about to go flat. I thought I could get away with two days without charging it, but it looks like I'm going to have to charge it every day. Um, that's alright for now, but I'm going to get a second battery. What I, what I was thinking is like, like completely drain each battery and then put it on the charger outside of the camera. Um, alright, so let's turn around. So. We're filling up the IBC. Uh, I gave it a quick wash out on the shed floor. Wet shed floor, who cares. Um, so I've got this hook. If you haven't seen this hook, get to Bunnings and make yourself one. I used to have two, I've lost one. I might make another one because they're so handy. Um, we're using that water from up there. So the water should be pretty good to go straight away. Um, I have no idea how I'm filtering this yet. I'm kind of leaning towards um, like a DIY pipe filter because it would make a wicked video um, and I know a lot of you out there like IBCs and if I can show you a good way to use IBCs, uh, make filters for them, I think that would be beneficial. Um, so I'm actually putting an end cap on this because I don't trust those taps. So leads me to my next point if anybody has one of these end caps whether it be Perth or over east hit me up um, I'm pretty sure postage would only be like five bucks I'm happy to pay postage on one of these um, or if you're not in if you're running an IBC and you're looking for a drain I'm happy to swap this here for an end cap now that is worth a shitload more than an end cap. So hit me up. It's got a hose fitting on it. It's pretty cool. Um, but I have no use for it. Because how tight this space is, I can't put drains on it. Um, I could probably cut a hole in the side of that cupboard where the pipe is and put the drain on. But it, it's not what floats my boat. So I actually put a bit of thread seal on that. Um, not thread seal, gasket sealer. Where is it? So I may have cleaned the shed, but I haven't cleaned my shelf yet. I don't know what I did with it. I just had it. I put it on before we started recording. So this is my life, guys. I lose shit within seconds of using it. Um, it's got to be on this shelf. It was there, and I used it, now it's gone. It's not in my pockets. Alright, I'm going to find it and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so it had fallen off the shelf, it was on the ground behind that step. Um, hydro, hydro seal. This stuff is brilliant. I've had this tube for like six months, it's five bucks from Bunnings. I put it on everything, all my canister filters and stuff like that um, and it's awesome oh. alright so we're filling this up 
You guys don't need to see a video of an IBC filling up. Alright guys, so I'm down to 10% battery. We don't have a spare charge, a spare battery. So, I'm going to wrap this video up there. If you, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.